So last night it happened. My SUI position was liquidated. I want to discuss why this happened and what I plan to do next and exactly where a lot of people are aiming to re-enter their SUI position. So we're going to discuss all of that along with the overall market so you guys can be fully up to date and you can make informed decisions in this market. And if you are looking for a place to trade, you can use BitUnex. There's over $5,000 of USDT bonuses waiting for you in the description. And if you have already signed up to this exchange, this is your last chance to claim the 20 USDT waiting for you if you you just fill out this form. All you have to do is provide your UID and your email and you're going to get airdropped an extra 20 USDT. With that said, BitUnex is non-KYC and no VPN necessary whatsoever if you do want to trade on this exchange. And recently, guys, the SUI videos have been absolutely smashing. There was a lot of fear, uncertainty and doubt in the market, but we still managed to get 1,200 likes in yesterday's video. So help me get this video to 1,300 likes. That's all I ask in return. And let's jump into it. So if we're looking directly at SUI, we can see there was a crazy, crazy push downwards yesterday. What on earth happened? Well, we had the unsettle with the news around Israel and Iran. We also had news of a USDT problem, government going after USDT. And last night I quickly, I woke up, right? And I checked the market and I thought, what on earth is going on? And I went to look at the portfolio. Everything's dropping. Sui's dropping. Everything's dropping, right? I went to find out what was happening. There was FUD around USDT. So I looked into it. There was no DPEG. And there was also the unrest, right, in the Middle East of what's going on. So I thought, this is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I'm going to make the best of this opportunity. And I checked my portfolio and I had been liquidated from the SUI trade. So before we jump into what I did next and what I'm planning to do even more so, let's go through the trade because of course I've kept you guys fully transparent the entire way with this trade. So we have the chart. Let's open our position history. We have $29,000, 29900 This is now, the position is closed. This is the final closing profit. So about $30,000 banked from this trade. Now, I am very happy with this, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of people out there that are very happy I got liquidated. Let me know in the comment section if you're happy I got liquidated. But or if you're happy that I made this trade. I'm happy I made this trade. But we have this as our closing profit. Now, what happened, right? So we were taking profits all the way up as we pushed upwards, but we were also adding to our bags as the market pulled back. On these pullbacks, we were adding. Pretty sure we added here, pretty sure we added here at the bottom of both of those bull flags, and we added just the other day at the bottom here. So even though we were taking profits, and even though we started the trade at about $1, right, we actually averaged our price up. This put my liquidation point, which I discussed in one of our videos, at about $1.68. Eight, I can't really remember exactly, maybe $1.70. Average close, 174 So that was where our liquidation point, right? 174 was about there. And I did discuss that I was going to add, or I was thinking about adding more margin to the trade. And I never did it because I didn't foresee us having a black swan event, which basically is what happened. So the market pushed downwards. We went all the way down to exactly where this support was. And around the 174 region, I was liquidated from what was left in the position. Remember, because we were taking profits and we were banking profits along the way, even though my position was liquidated, I still only lost the margin that I was willing to lose. Okay, And we started this with low leverage. We started a low leverage trade and we built up the leverage while pulling out the money as we went up. So this is something you can do over on uh, BitUnix. This is something we're doing with the Casper trade right now. We're starting with 3x and we're going to slowly pull out our margin by increasing the leverage if and when the price goes up. So if you do want to do something similar, maybe you want to do it with Casper or another altcoin once you've done your research. But the key here is you need an exchange where you can adjust the leverage and you can adjust the margin. So you can do that with BitUnex. Again, the links are down there in the description. Now, with that said, because we were liquidated here about $1.74, I was like, okay, I still want to do this trade. I still believe in the SUI trade. So I'm going to wait until if we reach our support, right? This is the support we've had drawn out on the chart. It played in here. It was a support here. It was a resistance here. And I thought, if we go down to this region, I'm going to start my position again because, hey, I think the risk to reward there is pretty nice. So I had that ready and I opened the trade, right? I alerted to this in the private Discord. 
uh, over here, Connor, here we go, where are we? Uh, st stopped out the SUI trade, reopened at 170. So I reopened the trade as soon as I could here, and now we are in $3,000 profit so far in this trade. So again, we have low leverage. We were on 6x leverage by the time the trade was stopped out. Now we are back to 3x leverage. Low leverage, higher margin. We have 40,000 SUI here. So uh, about, about what, $75,000 at the price it is now. Open and so far 13% profit, $3,000 uh, in the profit. 13%, yeah, $3,000. So that's the trade so far and I'm feeling pretty bullish on this. We have to wait now to see let's hopefully we hold about the $1.70 region. If we do lose this region here, the support, of course, coming down to the 150 is likely. Now, if we do look at Bitcoin, before we talk about entry points, right, further entry points for SUI, we did discuss that every time we've had net massive inflows for Bitcoin, it has resulted in downward momentum, right? So last time we had the biggest inflows, which everyone is talking about over on Twitter right now, go and look, the last week, over $2 billion of net inflows for the BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF. And everyone makes this sound bullish, but every other time we've had the biggest inflows, we've actually had bearish momentum, right? So we ended up having a crash last night. It was scary. The altcoins got absolutely decimated. Casper got absolutely annihilated, right? Absolutely annihilated last night. And of course, we take that as opportunity, right? So dollar cost averaged into Casper directly on that fall, because why on earth wouldn't I? You can see my buy right there as the market pushed all the way downwards, because you've got to make the best of these opportunities, but today's about SUI. But if we do look at the overall market, Bitcoin still yet to break 67,000, which is our resistance. If we can break that, then of course I do believe that altcoins are going to have a lovely time, but so far we are yet to break it. If we do look at the symmetrical bull flag here or the symmetrical channel, you can see that this is actually a really bullish retest of the upper region. So this could be just our springboard, right? Remember, this works as a springboard because people get over leveraged up here, right? Everyone goes long as we break here. Everyone goes really long. Then we get all liquidated on the push downwards. And then it uses a spring ball because what does everyone do? They go short when everyone's scared, right? So then we push upwards and we wreck all of those. And that's why we get this sort of volatility. Now, if we do look at the liquidation on the seven day, we are finally seeing a flip and more people are short on the market in the short term. However, zooming out a little bit, we do still have a ton of longs in the market. In fact, the longs are still building even though we had that pullback. So we haven't shaken enough people out for me to be really confident that we can make this move upwards. However, we do still have, look at this, 15 billion dollars of liquidation sitting at 70,000. So people are going to get absolutely annihilated. The shorts are going to get annihilated at 70,000, which does after the volatility we had last night, after this shakeout we had, it does fill me with a little bit of bullish momentum, but we do have the Bitcoin dominance continuing to rise. Look at this, we're right at the top of the wedge, getting rejected, slap bang on the top right there. And uh, yeah, this isn't great for altcoins, all right? So what we need to do now is wait patiently to see if we're gonna continue this rejection here. The rejection on the Bitcoin dominance is good for our altcoins like SUI. So with that said, where is SUI gonna go next? Well, we're gonna maybe be retesting this resistance here, which was support. We tried to break through it. Look at that perfect retest. Look, tell me TA doesn't work if you see that, right? We had this line already drawn in because it was a support right there and it was a resistance right there and it broke out of our bull flag perfectly there. So look at that, we came up, we hit the liquidity, we got rejected very harshly there, but SUI looks very strong to me right now. And it was due a correction, guys. If you've been watching these SUI updates, then you know full well we've been discussing that dollar cost averaging into your position with the euphoria. If you wanted $1,000 in your position, well, what was a great time to put in $100 right there. Sorry, I'm using my trackpad because my battery ran out halfway through this video. But there, if you were wanting to chase the euphoria and you wanted to put $1,000 in, you would have been much better off putting in $100. And you know for a fact, guys, you know for a fact this is exactly what I said because I said it about 10 times, right? If you had to put in $100 there, right? Not the thousand, the hundred, and you put it in there, you could have dollar cost averaged in the crash. And then last night you could have put in a lot more down here, 
and then you would have made a lot of money on the bounce. That's why you need to be patient in this market. Don't trade on emotions, right? Don't trade on emotions. And let's take a look. So there's some other people, Lark Davis, he had this to say about an entry point. I think entries around a buck 45, even a buck 20 could be pretty interesting for long-term spot holders. Buck 45 or a buck 20. Do you think that's a little bit too bearish? Do you think there's a possibility that we go that low? Buck 20 down here, right? I can see why he would choose that. It was a resistance. It will probably be a pretty strong support. And then the 40 odd region is where our other support is. Now, if we look at some other ideas here, the market has already had a 30% correction. This is Michael Van Day Pop, and he seems to think that about $1.50 is a good region for an aggressive entry if that happens. Now, I would agree very much. So we have our trade. I'll probably add to it significantly if we go down again, following exactly the same method that we've been doing here on the channel. Now, we also have this idea. All of these people think, look, if you're looking for the perfect zone to DCA, the zone in the image is where it sits about there, at about $1.65. So a lot of people are assuming that we can go lower. Look at this, $1.50 as well. All looking at these ranges of liquidity that we've discussed before on the channel, $1.56 right here. And this is getting a lot of views. So a lot of people are expecting us to pull back to at least these regions here. So I would be watching this closely if you are looking for an entry. Remember, my point is always the same, right? If you want to get involved, dollar cost averaging. Not talking about SUI directly because I'm not endorsing you to buy or sell anything. What I'm talking about is, is if you've done your research and you want to enter and the market is euphoric, you don't know what's gonna happen, then I believe the best way to go about it is simple DCA. That's what I do. I DCA in and I DCA out, exactly as I've shown you this trade step by step, which resulted in $30,000 of profit and a liquidation from a Black Swan event. But we live to tell another tale because we took profits along the way. That's how I see it. You might see it a different way. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions down there in the comment section. Now, we do have one other thing that I did notice. The TVL on SUI has actually dropped 13% over the last seven days, while Solana's has grown 7%. So I think this is something to pay attention to, right? When everyone was super bullish on SUI and saying it was going to go to the moon, right? It was never going to stop pumping. We were actually losing momentum on Solana. Now everyone's seems to have lost interest or some people have lost interest in SUI. We are growing on Solana again. This is something interesting to watch, but it gives me the idea that both Solana and SUI are good opportunities for this market. We're seeing a ton of other players that have just basically dropped off the board from the last bull market to this bull market. And SUI and Solana, along with a couple of other altcoins, are doing incredibly well. Another altcoin that we've spoken about here on the channel, Moonwell, up another 20% today to a $270 million market cap. This is shaping up to be one of my best trades ever and one of the best projects we've ever bought to this channel. Of course, we spoke about Moonwell at a $5 million market cap, now $270 million. So that's the power of having a diverse portfolio. Moonwell sat low down in my portfolio for years and now it is one of my biggest positions. That's why I'm such an advocate of dollar cost averaging because that's exactly what I did with Moonwell and another advocate of having a diverse portfolio. I'm not all in on SUI. I'm not all in on Solana. I'm not all in on Moonwell. I'm not all in on Bitcoin. But let me know what you guys think about all of that down there in the comment section. Are you continuing to trade SUI or are you out? Is it done? Is SUI dead? Let me know in the comment section. And if you are looking for an exchange, BitUnex is the one where you can follow a similar strategy to how I do. Start with low leverage, pull your margin, all of that sort of good stuff. If you want to learn how I'm doing it, check the videos on the channel. And guys, if you have already signed up to BitUnex, make sure you fill out the form because this is your last chance, right? You can get $20 extra USDT just from providing your BitUnex UID and providing your email address. That's all it is and an extra 20 USDT. And if you do want to see what I'm doing each and every day in the market, there is a link to my Patreon in the description. Thank you guys for stopping by and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.